have already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy. Between you and your person, we'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Aries, the recent past energy between you and your person. We've got the World card, and it's with the Ten of Cups. Now, the World card, it's actually about completion. You've worked hard. You're almost to the finish line in some way. So, don't quit now because you're so close. You could feel like you're in need of some well-deserved rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it because you're getting closer and closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now, when it comes to work, there could be a good chance that you're working too hard for far too little recognition and money. So it's going to be important, if this is the case, to toot your own horn. Blow your own horn a little, just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. Now the world card is with the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is beautiful. It's one of the most uplifting cards in the deck. This card, it points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way, as opposed to the Nine of Cups. Either way, it's a really, really good card in, the read in a reading. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups. It speaks of a happy family life, even if you're single. To the overall well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, to include those that you're most concerned about. Your parents, siblings, your children, pets, and much more. You could also be spiritually fulfilled. It's a part of the picture here also, so it's a great card to see regardless of any question. So, the recent past energy between you and your person. The world card clarified by the Ten of Cups. So, what I'm getting for a lot of you, Aries, is that you closed a chapter with someone. Yeah, it was the end of your journey with someone. Is it, like I said, the world card is about completion. The cycle was over and you knew it, so you closed that chapter in your life. For a lot of you, you probably never thought that you would. But it came to a close. It was over. End of a journey. You completed that cycle. Closed the chapter. And what happened was... It made you feel like your dreams could finally come true. Because the Ten of Cups can be about dreams coming true. It made you feel fabulous. Yeah, you no longer had... You know, you know, you were no longer holding on to a past connection or holding on to something that was over. Yeah, you just, you ended the journey, you completed that cycle, you closed that chapter, and it felt fabulous, it felt like, you felt like you could start actually living your life and moving forward with, with maybe bringing new beginnings into your life. So it felt like the Ten of Cups was knocking at your door. Like I said, everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading. You close the chapter, and wow, you were probably even surprised at how amazing you started to feel. Yeah, so let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for you. Well, this sounds like just a you reading, but I usually say for you and your person. So let's see what's coming up. Just put it that way. Well, coming up, we got the Five of Cups, and it's with the Hermit. Now, the Five of Cups is a card that reminds us that where we put our focus, 
has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So you could find yourself asking, what are you going to choose to focus on? The implication is probably clear. For example, are you going to cry over spilled milk? Or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? The point is to watch where you put your focus and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. Yeah, it's interesting because when the Five of Cups talks about love and relationships, it could be that a relationship you are in may have just ended or could be in the process of ending. So it's about trying to decide where you're going to put your focus. Yeah, so now it's with the Hermit card, which can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like a strength card. You could be in the frame of mind that you need and want some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it. Even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This can also be a card about trying to do the right thing. Trying really hard to do the right thing, but you want to make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So coming up for you, Aries, Five of Cups, and it's clarified by the Hermit. So like I said, a lot of you are feeling great. You're feeling fabulous. But um, you might start to feel like you just want some time alone to absorb this, the newness of having ended a, a chapter in your life. So you spend, you could be spending some thinking about spending some time alone just to clear your mind, get rid of any excess bag, baggage, any leftover energy from whatever or whoever you close the chapter with. So for some of you, you just want some time alone to do this. And because the Five of Cups is here, it looks like um, Five of Cups, you can get, um, you can start to feel like there's some disappointment, loss, regret, grief. But it's all about where you're deciding to put your focus. Now, for most of you, I'm getting that you're going to put your focus on the positive because the Five of Cups is about making a choice. Are you going to focus on the positive or the negative? But because, yeah, because you're feeling like this Ten of Cups or you're going to start to feel like this Ten of Cups and you're taking time to spend to yourself, to meditate, contemplate, get rid of any leftover baggage that you feel you could be carrying from this cycle you closed, closed out, yet you're choosing to focus on positive. Yeah, because sometimes with the Five of Cups, people can get maybe stuck in regret, maybe wishing or thinking that they hadn't stayed in a situation or a connection for as long as they did because they realized so much time was wasted. So some people get disappointed in their choices. But for you, Aries, you're choosing to focus on the positive. Yeah, you, yeah you're focusing on the positive because you are, you got the Ten of Cups knocking at your door. A lot of wonderful things are trying to happen for you. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the challenge is. For the challenge, we got the Magician and it's with the Star card. Now the Magician, it's a card that signifies new beginnings, great expectations. It reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives. And in the world, if we simply try, if we simply try, just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it. 
if you do the magic yourself because a magician is all about action. So if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. Now do the star card. With the star card, you can find yourself feeling really inspired, more hopeful about the future than you have felt in a while. You also feel more confident that your needs, they're being met, whether it's emotional or financial, or it could be both. Just know nothing can be taken for granted, but it's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. And this is also a spiritual card. Yeah, you could find yourself, at least for a time, feeling at one with all of creation. And that's not a common feeling, so you want to make sure to savor it. So your challenge, Aries, Magician, clarified by the star. Yeah, so you could be manifesting a new beginning with someone. Because a magician, magician is about having manifestation powers. And being strategic and planning. Yeah, you might know someone... Or someone is manifesting a connection with you. Yeah, this person, they feel like you make them feel, they feel really good when they're with you. Like they have a lot of hope and faith. They feel like they, they're in the spotlight when they're with you. They feel rejuvenated. Uh, you make this person feel, feel fabulous. Yeah, this person likes, really likes being around you. Um, yeah, when they're with you, it feels like any grief of the past is released. Or like I said, this could be how you're feeling about someone. Yeah. So it looks like you're going towards someone. If it's not a person, then it's something. Some type of new, new manifestation. Is trying to happen here. Yeah, so this is good. It brings, whatever it is, it brings rejuvenation. And like I said, any grief, grief of the past that you've been experiencing, it's gone. So that is beautiful. Let's see what the outcome is. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And it's with the Death card. Now the Knight of Pentacles... It can mean stability. If you're single, it can indicate that you're ready for a serious relationship. Or there could be someone who's ready to provide you with the security and support that you want. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles is great. It, it means solid, stable, stability. It's a committed relationship. Yeah, it represents a person that's very practical. This Knight of Pentacles is practi pr practical, patient, protective, um, very stable, loyal type of energy. Knight of Pentacles can be your knight in shining armor. Yeah, very loyal and faithful. So here's some good, that's some really, really good energy, this Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, could is that that's gotta be what you're manifesting. Or maybe you know someone like that that's that you're thinking about, or someone like this is coming towards you, Aries. This is really, really good energy. Now it's with the death card. Now keep in mind the death card it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible. For readers to predict physical death because we're creatures with free will and such things are not written in stone. The death card simply indicates transformation. It indicates change. Definitely deep transformation. Could be both internally and externally in your life. Could be some situations, things and people that you've counted on or have gotten used to. 
may no longer be available to you in quite the same way. The transition can be very difficult for some people, but the change is nearly always needed. Okay, so... Sorry about that, I needed some water. So, the outcome <clears throat> for you, Aries, Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Death card. So, like I said, you got some, you got, wow. Knight of Pentacles, Every who wouldn't want the Knight of Pentacles? Your knight in shining armor. Somebody that's loyal, faithful, stable. The money is good. Yeah, you're manifesting something like this or someone like this is manifesting a connection with you. Beautiful. Now this person, this Knight of Pentacles, um, because it's with the Death card, they could, they could be trying to close out a chapter themselves, ending a cycle with someone. So it's interesting that you two are kind of like going through the same thing. You've closed out yours, and it looks like they, they could be in the process of closing out a chapter in their life. So they may be going through the process of getting rid of baggage like you had to do after you closed out a chapter. But yeah, this, this is really good energy. You want to, when, when, when this person does come towards you, or if you know someone, and you sense they're like this Knight of Pentacles, grab, grab them. And don't let go. Really, really good energy you got coming towards you. Slow, steady, stable, and civilized, practical, loyal, faithful, the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, money is good also. Yeah. Like I said, they could be going through something though. Trying to close out a chapter in their life. So at least, you, at least you'll sympathize with them. You'll know. You'll know what it's like and you'll know what they're going through. So Aries, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you? In the next few weeks, there's also a link below for personal readings, if you'd like to try one of those. So Aries, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's gonna pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong and take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Aries reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind when you get these readings, the roles can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, the roles. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, or maybe it could be a situation also. So keep that in mind. Because these are general readings, they are not personal readings. So Aries, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Hope to see you at the next reading and take care.